What's up guys, welcome back to VDK TV where we talk and discuss anything and everything dog. I'm Nick, this is Michelle. Today we got a how to for you, but before you do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button down there, do the notifications, click that bell to all, make sure to smash that thumbs up button too. Also, if you notice, I'm rocking some Crusaders du Nord swag. This is my good friend Ryan in Canada. Be sure to go over there, follow his page on IG and on Facebook. I know he'd appreciate that. Some really good dogs come out of there, so if you need a top working Malinois, go hit him up. Um, Michelle over here is uh, repping some Heights canine gear too. They're out of Ohio. Make sure to go over there and give them a like. So for today's how-to video, we're gonna show you how to make a cool interactive toy out of the classic Kong, the Luna Ball from Planet Dog, and these tennis balls, of which I got those free from an athletic club, they were just gonna discard them. If you wanna see a full review on the Classic Kong, we're gonna put a link up here. If you wanna see a full review on the Planet Dog Cosmo series, we're gonna put a link right here. And we're also gonna put them in the description down below, so it should be easy to access. So we'll quickly go over some of the items that you're gonna need in order to make some of these interactive toys on the string. Go ahead. First things first, we're gonna need a good quality washer. This washer is inch and a quarter by a quarter. And if you can find these in a stainless steel, that is what I'd recommend. That way they won't rust if you throw your toy in the water or if the dog's uh, saliva gets in on the ball or anything like that. Also, if we're talking with these tennis balls, we're gonna need to cut a slit into them. So we're gonna use this box cutter. Uh, you can use anything to cut these. However, I definitely recommend safety first. Maybe wear some gloves, uh, some PPE. And if you need a hand from somebody, uh, uh, ask for a helping hand. Next, we're gonna need a nice flathead screwdriver. Okay, pretty classic, pretty standard. Uh, we found this kind of medium size, I don't know exactly what number it is, uh, works very well. It looks like this is a 3 16 Also, we're gonna need some rope. This one right here, I believe is a quarter inch, and this one I believe right here is 3 8 It's a little different thickness depending on your preference. And for preference too, you can try a few different styles. Some of them we found kind of burn our hands pretty easy once the dog's trying to play tug. So go ahead and feel free to experiment a little bit for what you like to use yourself. Cool, first things first, we need to start out with a washer, okay? Remember, this is a quarter inch by inch and a quarter. Okay, so we're gonna open up this box. You also notice this is what they call a fender washer. It has a larger surface area there uh, compared to the smaller hole in the middle, okay? Next step is we're gonna grab some of our rope. We're gonna go with the black rope this time. When I take this, I typically double it around. I say, okay, here's about how the length I want, because I also gotta remember I need to make a knot here, okay? So we're gonna take this. Safety first, we're always gonna cut away from ourselves. Boom. Should be done with that for a second here. We're gonna take our knot or our rope. Okay, we're gonna make a knot. We're just gonna go over it. Double layer. Right at the end, and now I have my knot here. I'm not gonna take our flathead screwdriver. We're gonna attach it to the top. I'm just gonna put a little pressure on that. Okay. A little pressure on that, and I'm gonna feed it through my fender washer. Okay, now that I have it started, I can put this down, and I will pull through. Now I have a nice base, okay? We're gonna start with the Kong here first, okay? We're gonna take our screwdriver again. Remember, flathead screwdriver. We're gonna go all the way through to the top. Okay, once I have that fed through, I can now pull. If you notice that washer, this is as wide as the bottom. That's okay. We're just gonna turn it sideways. And we're gonna pull. And voila, now I have a good solid toy that is not gonna come out. I can throw it or I can play tug with my dog. We're gonna do it for the tennis ball again too, or now too. Okay, we're gonna take our tennis ball, we're gonna cut a slit the back side. I like to go where the words are. We're gonna take that, 
And we're just gonna cut it in. Okay, to make a nice open slit right there. If you need to make it a little wider, you can. On the opposite side, so here on this side, I'm going to put my knife through, stab it, and make another slit, but a smaller slit. Same process, I'm gonna grab my string. I'm gonna loop it around, get my approximate length. I'm gonna cut this, but again, I'm always gonna cut away from me. I'll make my knot in my loop. Grab another washer here, another fender washer. Inch and a quarter by quarter inch. Inch and a quarter by quarter inch. I'm gonna take my screwdriver. I'm gonna feed it through. And I'm gonna pull, okay? I'm gonna put my screwdriver back on it. I'm gonna start with the longer slit. I'm gonna feed it through to the opposite side with the smaller slit. Okay, I'm gonna start pulling my string. And same concept, I will turn the washer sideways to feed it through the hole and I'll pull. And just like that, now I have another toy. These toys are not to be left with your dog. These are interactive toys with you as a handler only. Do not leave these with your dog. The dog can chew the string off, chew the ball, possibly get the washer out if they're chewing it. With the Kong, it's obviously less likely they could get the washer, but regardless, safety first. Always be with your dog when interacting with these. We're gonna do one more here, and we're gonna do it for this Luna Ball from Planet Dog, part of their Cosmo series. Once again, we're gonna take our washer. And for this large of a ball, you could get away with a larger fender washer and that might be more ideal. However, this will work. We'll take our rope again. Get the length that we want. Okay. We're gonna go with that length. We're gonna cut away from our body. Push that off to the side. We're gonna make our knot. Okay, make our knot. Put it back on our flathead screwdriver. Get tension in there. Feed it through that quarter inch opening. Pull it through. Put it back on our flathead screwdriver. Feed it through the back side into the opening. Pull it through if you notice that the washer is almost the size of that opening, okay? Which again, you can get away with a larger washer. Pull it through, and now I have a nice toy that I can throw or interact with my dog here. Again, same concept. Do not leave this unattended with your dog. They can chew off the string, the washer could fall out. Safety first. Well, I'd say that sums it up for this video today. Hopefully you guys took a little bit away from this. You'll be able to create your own interaction toys. We always use these types of toys for our detection work because it's great to be able to work on your outs and play tug with your dog, just overall interaction um, without accidentally getting your hand munched on, so. So piggybacking off of what she said, not only are these great 
to throw at source from a secondary reward or a third party pay. You can also use them for indirect reward where the dog comes back to you as part of your detection routine, okay? Same concept with the Kong, and really you could even do it with this Luna Ball if needed. They're also great for having your dog come into heal as a reward, maybe it's French Ring, maybe it's protection, maybe it's just obedience, but a great reward for that. So if you have uh, something you wanna see, or a product or a how-to, let us know. We have over 13 years in the industry as a VDK and actually over 17 years with dogs. So chances are we're already doing it or have done it or have seen it. So if it's something you wanna see, let us know. Leave it in the comments, shoot us an email, whatever it might be, uh, get a hold of us. As always, thank you for watching our video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two on how to create interactive toys for your dogs. Please uh, give us some feedback in the comment section below. Hey, you know what? If there's something you want to see, if there's something you want us to create as far as a how-to, let us know. We've got over 13 years in the business and actually 17 years uh, working with dogs. Uh, so chances are we can help you with it. Give us that feedback. Leave the comments. Do what you can. Shoot us an email. However you want to respond. Have a great day.